it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't wait to win How can we roar back When the enemies roars hello friends this is yundel and today's share is about roaring back when the enemy roars this is just a share from my own life experiences and of course from my own reading yes we face different kinds of enemies every day and it cannot be avoided that it is very challenging it's hard and many times we are having difficulties how to handle the enemy yes how can we roar back really when the enemy roars for me in my own experiences i am aware about it that each and every day, different kinds of challenges can come into our life. And those are the enemies we are going to face in this life journey. And nobody is exempted. Each and every one of us must experience that enemies can come along to our life suddenly. Many times we are doing great. We are on the top of our situation. Everything is well. We are happy. We are content. And all is well with us. And suddenly, the enemy roars. How can we roar back? For me, in my own experiences, I have to understand that it's okay. The enemy is coming now. The enemy is here now. I have to rest in peace in prayers stand still have that peaceful heart have that peaceful mind and pray continuously that is the weapon i am using when i am struggling of something it cannot be avoided that every now and then we can face different kinds of enemies and it is a part of our life journey it cannot be avoided what we have to do is we must have right perspective to the situation here we have to use our mind we have to use that godly wisdom has given to us each and every one of us had been given a godly wisdom and we have to use that right away when we are facing the enemies because that's what i told you they will just come suddenly in your life and it cannot be avoided that suddenly you are there the right mindset the right attitude must be applied during this time roar back how can we roar back for me i'm using the prayer the meditation staying in peace knowing that god knows about my situation right now you have to call upon him pray and pray a lot pray continuously until you have that calm feelings within you you can feel that within your heart that calm feelings that you're protected that calm feelings that you are secure with yourself that means god is working in you that means you have called upon god and right away he is working in your life you have to roar back and how can you do that kneel down for a word of prayer and stay in peace lend it all to god knowing that he is in control of our life he knows that is coming all we have to do is to confess unto him that now here is the enemy 
bothering me. You have to see it loud to him into your prayer. It's an every one of us can roar back from our enemy when we know that we have the creator of the universe to protect us, to guide us, to bless us, and to lead our way. So don't worry. You can easily roar back when you have that faith and believe in God. I have this verse from Isaiah 54, 17. When I am worried and feeling that enemy is roaring me, I have to verbalize it loud. It says that no weapon firm against you shall prosper. This is the promise of God in the scripture that no weapon firm against you will prosper when you trust and believe in God. We all have things that come against us, things that are frightening, things we don't understand, things that sometimes it seems everything is going well and then suddenly unexpected things happen. We experience those suddenly all is well and suddenly we are experiencing problems which we cannot explain but the scripture says no weapon forms against you will prosper but the scripture says no weapon form against you will prosper that means that no matter what the enemy tries to throw at you God has the final say. We have to understand that in everything, God has the final say. In Jeremiah 5, it says, I made the sun a boundary of the sea, an everlasting barrier it cannot cross. The waves may roll, but they cannot prevail. They may roar, but they cannot cross it. Though the ocean may be a billion times bigger or more powerful than the sun, because of God, the sun will not be overpowered. When the enemy roars at you like waves roaring at the beach, roar back at him. When thoughts roar that this is the end, no, roar back again. The Most High God is my protector. He goes before me and behind me. So I will not fear. See that to yourself. You will not fear because the Most High God is your protector. Don't let the enemy have the last roar. God's promises, He will prevail. Now, Tell the ocean to go back. Yes, we must understand that we have divine protection. That when the enemy roars, we can roar back. We must believe that we have the heads of protection around us. God is fighting our battles and no weapon forms against us will prosper. Yes, we must be strong and courageous to do not let the enemy have that last roar. Roar back again by believing in Him, praying in Him continuously, have that peace within your heart. Surrender it all to Him. Then you have the courage and strong enough to roar back whatsoever enemies are coming to you. This is just a share from my own life experiences and this is the weapon I am using every day. The enemy can come anytime without any notice. 
even we are feeling good, everything is well in our life. But then suddenly the enemy roars. Be strong and courageous to roar back to your enemy and let God Fight your battles. You can do that when you live in God's perspective. Come unto Him in the prayer right away. Be prayerful. Always is the key here. When the enemy roars, kneel down for a word of prayer. And then you can have peace and surrender it all to God. Then back again. All will be well with you. This is Shundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey. I love you all and bye bye. Like we feel the same. We love.